What's up, YouTube? We're going to um, follow the chain bear questionnaire for the season to come, which if you haven't seen it, is a series of 20 questions, each with its own score, with the original contestants being Stuart from Chain Bear himself, a guy called Jaunty, in addition to Dan from F1 Reviews, and Sean from the F1 Word. So, I contributed my own answers, and I'm going to show them to you here. In addition to the to the choice of the crowd, as for amount of safety cars, that's the amount of safety cars total in the season. I went with the same answer as the crowd of 15, being um, more conservative than Jaunty, Dan, and Sean, which makes me kind of think I'm gonna come short because Kvyat and Grosjean are on the grid, but whatever happens, happens. Percentage of points for the top teams, um, crowd voted 72, and I decided I would uh, put 75. So, um, one point off from Sean, we're pretty much thinking the same, and John T being very liberal about it, which may not go to plan. All podium sitters, basically everyone voted in the top six drivers and I voted uh, in addition to those top six I voted the two Force India so that's Checo Perez and Lance Stroll in addition to Kimi Raikkonen which is a bit of a wild card but if Jonty and Dan say that say that Raikkonen can get into the podium at some point I'll take their word for it although something tells me that the only race that would allow uh, a midfielder to get onto the podium would be Baku. So unless Perez, Roll and Raikkonen are on the podium at Baku, which could absolutely happen if everyone in the top teams have prob problems, I'm very sorry, um, this may happen. but. Magnussen, I don't think so. Ricciardo, I don't think so. But yeah, let's see what happens. Who will improve the most from first 10 races to last 10 races? I voted just like Chamber for Alexander Albon, the new guy from Thailand. And yes, Sean from the F1 word, were you drunk? Now for question number five. Most driver of the day awards. Pretty much everyone agreed that it would be Max Verstappen except for Stewart and Dan. But let's admit we all know it's going to be Max Verstappen because he wins it even, even when he shouldn't. Who will leave Formula One? There are some out there. Um, Predictions, especially John T. I voted in basically everyone I don't like. So, so that's Bottas, Kvyat, Grosjean, Kubica, and Sebastian Vettel. Question number seven is race with the most retirements. Um, crowd voted Azerbaijan. So did um, Stewart and Sean, and I also voted for Baku. John T. Uh, seems to think that Belgium 1998 will repeat, which I think is unlikely, and Dan thinks Monaco, which may happen too. It can be really messy. Most positions gained from grid to finish. Um, Stewart voted for Verstappen, so did the crowd, so, so did Sean. I voted just like Dan for Lance Stroll. John T, I think he was a little drunk when he answered this question, voted for Robert Kubica, who will be driving a bloody Williams. Okay, now, livery changes, this will um, uh, be counted for car launches, which will happen now in February. And yeah, basically everyone voted for Haas and Williams. I voted additionally for Force India or Racing Point or whatever name it's going to have with 
Sean and John T voting Sauber and John T and Stewart voting McLaren for some reason. Apparently McLaren is going to be sponsored by Coca-Cola. Okay, now for Alonso's wins. Um, John T was the most um, optimistic that Alonso would win all four. I voted for Le Mans, WEC and the Indy 500. The 24 hours of Daytona, maybe, but, well, let's hope for the best. Uh, rookie of the year, this will be solved by argument, and the crowd voted Lando Norris. And I voted um, for, yep, Lando Norris, because I think McLaren, and I really don't like George Russell, and I know that he will be driving for Williams, and I don't like George Russell, that's why I voted Lando Norris. Giovinazzi, well, yeah, he's Italian, bambino, and, and, and everything else, and I love Italian food, but I think Norris will out, outperform him. Strongest team on winter's testing, crowd voted Ferrari for some reason, and... John T voted for Renault. Sean and I voted Mercedes because, well, Mercedes has been my favorite team for a while for reasons that should be rather obvious. Title decider, I the crowd voted for Brazil. All the and although three of the original contestants voted uh, for Abu Dhabi, which makes sense. I voted Mexico purely for patriotism. I'm from Mexico, so yeah, I may be wrong, and if the if things happen the same as happened this season, the title decider will be in the US, since Mexico and the US have flipped positions, but I still chose Mexico out of patriotism alone. Now for a P10 in Constructor, who will be dead last, uh, the crowd voted for Williams with 13 points. Um, John T and Dan voted for Toro Rosso for some reason. I also voted Williams and I put, put them at 5 points. Because, yeah, Robert Kubica is well past his prime, he's in his 40s, I think. So, no. Question number 15, Best Manufacturer. Uh, points for correct. Uh, well, oh my God, I didn't, I didn't correct the crowd vote. But yeah, the crowd voted Ferrari. I voted just like Dan for uh, Mercedes, and I'm sorry for that um, mistake. That best manufacturer. Oh, another one. Sorry, I don't. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really that experimented and I'm just kind of like experimenting with all this and new microphone and everything. As for who will out qualify their teammate most, just because I don't like Daniel Ricciardo, I voted for Nico Hülkenberg 19-2. to uh, Remember that um, Alonso kind of outwashed uh, Van Dorn even though Grid, when you take grid positions into account, it was actually 20 to 1 with, um, um, I mean, grid penalty because of a grid penalty in Russia. But yeah, since I don't like Daniel Ricciardo, I voted for Nico Hulkenberg 19 to 2. I'll probably be wrong, but let's see what happens. Formula 1.5 champion, once again, I voted patriotically for Checo Perez, meaning him, meaning I took the same choice as John T and I will be judging it not on the, um, the general score but on the score kept by an Instagram account called Formula 1.5 which is a little more fair about it. What will Liberty Media announce in 2019? So. I went for the announcement of whether or not the MGUH will be used after the 2021 reform. So, yeah. Let's hope for the best on that one because that is the, the largest amount of 
points. Um, amount of races in 2020, pretty much we all went for similar answers. And I went for 23 um, with Sean and Stuart agreeing with me, or rather me agreeing with them. And who will win the contest? Who, who will win the contest? Um, pretty much everyone voted Jaunty except Sean who voted for himself and I voted for Sean. Of course this only concerns the first 19 questions so no infinite loops and yeah that is it. And just in case you think I'm going to keep it all to have Stuart from Chamber do the whole work. I'm keeping on the entire thing on myself, keeping track of basically everything in a single spreadsheet of Excel, Microsoft Excel, so um, I'm being rigorous about it. Uh, there's a general chart with all the um, questions, everything is accounted for, everything is uh, there and it will start to be filled up during the season everything a lot of things are empty for obvious reasons the uh, the thing hasn't started and i'm also keeping track of the scores on the 50 and down system which gives 50 points to the winner except um, um, unlike the 25 of the standard score i'm also keeping track of the qualifying battles also automatically because um, yeah it's easier like that and the championship span which I talked about last season which will tell me who will win the championship in both the 25 and down and the 50 and down and this is a chart of popularity for questions 3, 6 and 9 so yeah that was my contribution and I hope you have enjoyed it I am going to keep on keeping track of everything and I hope you have a nice day, a nice year, a nice season and congratulations to Benito Guerra for winning the race of champions. I will see you next time. <laughs>